uh, I felt way safer having any procedure done there than here because they did such stringent um, protocols. I had sur I'm, I'm Laura Lee Jackson, and I had surgery um, November of 2020, uh, and I'm from the Redmond, Washington area, which is a suburb of Seattle. Uh, and I had surgery in the uh, just south of San Diego. I went to Tijuana. Before weight loss surgery, I had a lot of aches and pains. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a doctor tell me once that for every pound I lost, I was taking three pounds of pressure off of my joints. And so just removing all of that weight um, makes it so much easier to move and do things mm -hmm. in an everyday life. Um, today mm -hmm. on vacation, I've walked almost 20,000 steps. I don't hurt from walking that much. Um, last year, even doing that much, um, because last year in May, we did our girls trip and mm -hmm. um, from the 30 pounds I've lost since then has mm -hmm. made a huge difference on how I feel physically. Um, it's easier to exercise, um, you know, and, and I did my first 5K run uh, it last March, uh, you know, so that was a huge accomplishment. And I did it in under an hour, which I know some people that's not fast, but for me, that was a huge accomplishment to be able to say, I did this in under an hour. Well, my expectations was to find some place that I felt was really safe and that um, mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to feel like I was going someplace sketchy. You know, um, uh, Lamar actually was one of the best places because they were all so certified and above board. Um, MTC was wonderful to work with because I love the Facebook group because mm. there's no way you could fake that many accounts. And, and uh, you know, so hearing everybody else's account and, you know, having the dietitian to follow up with. Um, I still follow up mm -hmm. with my own dietitian here, but it's great to have a dietitian out there following the Facebook group page going, you guys are doing great, giving us suggestions, showing us different things like the chia pudding or um, <laughs> reminding us about portion sizes. And you go, you know, this is, you know, bringing out the little measuring cups and going, okay, now this is four ounces and this is what four ounces of this looks like. It was so much more expensive here in the States to have it mm -hmm. done. And I was going to have to pay for it out of pocket because my insurance wouldn't cover it. And so that was one of the biggest factors. And then um, looking at all of the other companies, um, it kept going back that um, MTC had such mm -hmm. high review marks from all of the past participants. And mm -hmm. uh, so that was another one. And then um, uh, I followed a couple of the people who had surgeries about the same time that I was thinking of, of having it. And Patrick Ryan was one who actually mm -hmm. scheduled and booked just before and had his surgery. And he actually had his videotaped with, um, he didn't have Dr. Lopez. He had the, uh, the other doctor at Lamar, who's the woman. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can't mm -hmm. remember her name, mm -hmm. but you know, they actually uh, filmed his surgery for, a promotional and you know watching his story and how wonderful he's done and you know and you know him go saying okay guys this is what i'm doing and and you know and him being just really true and honest about everything and showing his true pictures was really um you know something that made me think and like i said there's no way you could have faked all those fake books those Facebook posts, you know, there's like hundreds of them. And so, you know, um, so, and, and the fact that you had such high rec um, recognition and that um, 
everybody was, uh, all of your doctors were certified and that they were easily validated because I could go to all of these different boards and see, yes, you really have um, credentials mm -hmm. from these different places. You know, arranging for the driver, Angel was wonderful. Um, you know, he picked us up at the hotel in San Diego and he, you know, because he did does this all the time, you know, he knows how to get in and out of customs without the hassle. Um, getting into Mexico way easier. Um, but, you know, coming back, you know, he was just so helpful and considerate. Um, so, you know, having the transportation to and from was wonderful. Um, and not having to worry about that part of the trip, you know, making sure that all of the other details were taken care of. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't have, I had prepaid the hotel. So that was, you know, knowing that that was taken care of that, you know, there was only a couple little things I had to pay for. I think it was like $20 when I was done with my surgery because um, I was pre-diabetic mm -hmm. and they had to do some extra blood sugar tests. You know, but mm -hmm. so, I mean, that was so nice to have all of that taken care of and not have to worry about, you know, all of the extra possible costs that are involved in the surgery, mm -hmm. you know, and having that one flat fee up front and going, okay, this is how mm -hmm. much it's going to cost. And, and so that helped a lot on my budgeting and knowing that. I was going to be able to afford all of this and have my surgery done yeah, uh, I, because I waffled on it for years. Um, and, and part of it was that I couldn't find any place here in the States that I could afford to do it. And mm -hmm. I went to Mexico at the height of COVID and I felt safer in Mexico than I did in the States, but Mexico took COVID way more serious than we did in the States. I mean, um, if I wanted, it didn't matter where we were going, you got a temperature check, you had sanitized, and you sanitized the bottoms of your shoe everywhere. Um, you know, and, and that wasn't happening in the States. We were all complaining about having to wear masks here. <laughs> and there was no <laughs> question there, you wore your mask, end of story. We probably needed to do that here and there was just too much people thinking, oh, you're infringing on my rights here. I felt way safer having any procedure done there than here because they did such stringent um, protocols. I mean, before I could enter the facility, I had to strip my clothes and put on the hospital gown because they didn't want the chance of any of the virus coming in on my clothes. And then I was tested for COVID before I could enter the facility uh, because mm -hmm. they were very 100% COVID free and they wanted to stay that way. And I didn't want to mm -hmm. have surgery if I had COVID, so I, I get it. And But I didn't want anybody else giving me COVID either. But, um, mm -hmm. There was nothing subpar about the whole thing. Uh, it was all world class and I would do it again in a heartbeat.